Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Tilka Asharatun Kamila, 10 days complete. Subhanallah, the countdown is on. And each and every one of the one million people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has selected for Hajj this year are literally counting out those hours. As mentioned previously, many of them, the last of them to arrive, would have made it into Makkah al-Mukarramah, whether by road, whether they had docked at the port of Jiddah, or whether they arrived at the international airport in Jiddah. They would now be in Makkah al-Mukarramah. As mentioned, the last few of them would also, subhanAllah, be completing their Umrah. So let's speak a little bit about this lesser pilgrimage, more so in terms of its relation to the greater pilgrimage, which is Hajj. The pilgrimage or the lesser pilgrimage of Umrah consists of two very important components in terms of actual rituals. The first would be tawaf or the circumambulation around the Kaaba. The idea of entering into the valley of Makkah al-Mukarramah, that area around the Kaaba where there are no buildings known as the Mataf, the place of tawaf, and walking seven times around the Kaaba. Now, subhanAllah, many significant things here. One of them would be that one walks in an anti-clockwise direction, which means the heart, the physical heart, which for many of us also seen as the site of and the home of emotion, of spirituality, etc., is inclined in our human anatomy a little bit towards the left. And it's this left shoulder that's actually closer to the Kaaba. And by virtue of this, the hearts become attached to this edifice and building that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has erected because of the limits of our perceptive abilities. Allah, free of time and space, but humans need to touch, to feel, to hear, to see, to taste in order for them to be able to appreciate. Hence, the five senses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us, the five basic senses, appreciating that there are, other, there are also other senses coupled with that. So the last of the hujjaj to arrive would walk around the Kaaba seven times as the rest of the hujjaj who arrived previously whether it be a few days ago or some weeks ago, would have done equally so. And then thereafter, they would observe two rakat salah behind the station of Ibrahim, known to many of us as Maqam Ibrahim, based on the verse of Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَا وَاتَّخِذُوا مِن مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى And we have extracted, we have taken out, we have made for you the Maqam Ibrahim, the station of Ibrahim as a musalla, a place to observe salah. And subhanAllah, at the end of these seven rounds, Hujjaj would want to observe the two rakat salah behind the Maqam Ibrahim. Then they would have a drink of the water of Zamzam, in the time and age we live in, the Zamzam is piped to dispensers on the far wall of the Mataf and also mobile dispensers that are wheeled on and off to different portions of the Mataf. Then they proceed to the Sa'i. The Sa'i or the Mas'a, the place where Sa'i is undertaken between the hillocks of Safa and Marwa. Once again, a verse of Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Inna Safa wal Marwata min sha'airillah. Verily, Safa and Marwa, they are from the signs of Allah, the manifestations of Allah. So Hujjaj or Mu'tamirun in this case, because they are still undertaking Umrah, would walk between the hillocks of Safa and Marwa. Nay, not walk, but rather run between the hillocks of Safa and Marwa. After having completed this sojourn, which cumulatively accounts for some three and a half kilometers and being and finding themselves on the hillock of Marwa, they would come to a realization that they have completed the Umrah. But what does this mean? This means they have completed the basic rituals necessary for any person, male or female, who enters Makkah al-Mukarramah. And by virtue of having completed these two basic rituals of both Tawaf and Sa'i, they are now dubbed fully-fledged citizens of Makkah al-Mukarramah by none other than our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's almost as if a ceremonious ticket of saying, welcome to Hajj 1443 has been awarded to each of them. 
what then is happening behind the scenes? Well, stay tuned and inshallah, in the next episode of Tilka Asharatun Kamila, we'll tell you what's happening on the backdrop of now all of the Hujjaj having arrived safely in Makkah al-Mukarramah.